Seven months ago, we made this Vineco Sangiovese wine kit. Today, we're going to bottle it. Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside into Shred World. When we uncovered the wine to prepare it for bottling, we noticed some sediment. We sanitized our equipment so we could rack one more time. We placed the wine on a countertop. Before racking, we drew off two small samples of wine. We'll use one to taste the wine. The other will get a small amount of potassium metabisulfite mixed in. This mixture will get added to the wine we're going to bottle as a preservative. This young wine tasted pretty good. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of potassium metabisulfite, the right amount for about five gallons of wine. The carboy we will be bottling from is placed below the source bottle. The sample containing the metabisulfite is poured in first. Using an auto siphon and tubing, the wine is racked into the carboy we'll use for bottling. We tilt the source bottle at the end to get as much wine as we can. And as it turns out, there wasn't all that much sediment. We placed the stopper and covered the wine for a few days until we're ready to bottle. The next day, we thoroughly washed and rinsed our recycled bottles. Then we placed the bottles on a rack and covered them with plastic. We placed a small, open-top cup of potassium metabisulfite solution underneath the plastic. The fumes from the solution will sanitize the bottles. On bottling day, we moved the 5-gallon carboy of wine to a countertop. We placed the sanitized bottles on a shelf below the wine. We use an auto siphon, tubing, and a racking wand to transfer the wine from the carboy to the bottles. The racking wand only allows wine to pass through it when you press down on the spring-loaded tip. The wand is transferred from bottle to bottle until all are filled. The racking wand is kept inside the bottle until the wine reaches the top of the neck. When it's removed, there's just enough space for a cork and a small amount of air. Here's the cork that will be placed in this bottle. The previously sanitized cork is forced into the bottle by a corker. When using a corker, place or center the bottle first. That way you'll know that the bottle is correctly aligned. 
If you place the cork first, you have no idea where the bottle is. If misaligned, the bottle may slip out of the corker or even break. The newly filled bottles are allowed to stand upright for a couple days to make sure that there's no additional activity in the bottle and that the corks are not pushing out. After that, if you'd like, you can add a label and a sleeve. Then we allow the wine to rest horizontally in a rack for about four to six weeks to get over any bottle shock. With the rest period completed, enjoy the wine when you wish. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you enjoy this channel, why not subscribe?